Ben and I decided to upgrade Orion's winches after multiple occasions when the kids and I were physically unable to trim or free the jib sheet while it was under a heavy load. The self-telling winches were a great solution. Okay, then we're gonna try to take off the other one to remove this. Just a little, not really a split ring. I'm not sure what they'd call that, but just a spring, spring to ring. And then we remove the outer drum. Just a top, of, top piece on there. A couple of paws. Pretty simple. Just a, a no gears, no anything. It just a very basic winch it worked with us but we are excited about getting a new one so now from the inside I've actually got to take the nuts and lock washers off and then I can unscrew those bolts surprise you don't need a screwdriver on the opposite side the threads are really tight they basically almost threaded the the bolts, so you do have to unscrew the bolts because it's threaded so tight, which probably will help with with uh, leaking. Okay, so all we should have to do is hopefully these come right out. right off that's, so, that's it it's all that all that goes into it for now just so we don't lose any parts I'm going to put it back together what's the temp outside right now well, it's supposedly at the 43. I can double check it again. I can see my breath though. <laughs> That's our forecast. You can see that. Looks like we're we're gonna be right around that 40 temp, which is which is the suggested low for the epoxy that I'm gonna put on. But it didn't say that it will fail. It just said it's gonna take a little longer time to dry, and I'm okay with that. I just want to get it done so I can move this from out underneath this cover. So, Under the now I gotta scrape it off. But I might drill them out like I did the last ones. Need a good scraper. I do have our cast iron pot scraper. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll work. Need a light. Oh, perfect. There you go. Thank you. Never know what you're going to use. A cast iron pot scraper for. Pretty good job of scraping it off though. Okay, we are in the bathroom, the head, and we have taken off the uh, cover plate that also has the light installed. Show you those are the four holes from down below and uh, we're gonna put some duct tape over them so that we can put epoxy from the top and it won't spill down into the cabin here. I'm supposed to snap off this cap. Wow, that thing's on there. Okay, snapped off the cap. Supposed to push up, the air bubbles are gone. Well, that air bubble's gone. Oh, there's the 
syringe thing in the middle. Okay. Maybe. Yep. I think that's supposed to come out. Okay. I'm supposed to put equal amounts, so I'm guessing it's one's. Oh man, one really wants to come out, and the other side doesn't. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, stinky. Ooh. Just to pull it back and apply it, and yes, it stinks. For most resins, you really want to mix up good. Like, almost like a hair perm. Oh. <laughs> it. It's good thing we're out in the open. <clears throat> it's supposed to be super, super strong stuff. Let's try to push this down the hole as much as I can. There we go. Good sticky stuff. So now we're going to go over to the other side. We've got the epoxy in the holes. Need to sand it off still. You can tell it's kind of rough. I mean, you can see all that, but. <clears throat> Kind of rough there so we're gonna sand that off and mark it and try to mount the uh the other winch here on the starboard side okay we got it sanded off and uh now we're gonna take this one out of the box and disassemble it it's a lamar ocean 14 a single speed self-tailing winch this little top thing is just supposed to be on there hand tight. I do give you a couple of notches that you can use if you have to get it apart, but uh, they don't want you using tools to put it back on. You take the ring off, then you take the, ooh, ooh already losing parts. Then you take the tailor off, and then you have a couple of these little side pieces help hold on that tailor. And I usually figure if you twist just a little bit, it comes off. The uh, bearing actually stayed inside, which is fine. Slide that a little bit out of the way. Got this plastic ring as well. Set that in there for now. That's all we need. And again, just like the other one, according to the diagram, it's supposed to be, they put so much grease on this thing, it's unreal. Caked it on there really, really well. I did contact Lamar and they said that it's fine, I don't have to clean it off. There was so much grease, I was expecting to have to even do a pre-cleaning on it. Because I know you're not supposed to put that much. I don't know if you can even see that, but it is like goobered on there. There's a lot of it. Anyway, but he said that's kind of the way it comes from the factory. And once I use it for a year, I can clean it. And But I shouldn't need to clean it now, so I'm not going to. But just like the first one, the uh, load is supposed to be coming across across this uh, perpendicular gear here. Just, so I'm gonna center it up with that, with that guy there. That'll make it very easy. They also want you to be able to remove this gear, to be able to remove that pin. I'm gonna mark these holes and uh, get to drilling. I got the uh, first holes drilled. I'm gonna clean up my mess here. Uh, there is a whole bunch of aluminum 
I'm not sure if you can see that aluminum shavings because they buried a uh, aluminum plate inside the fiberglass and they had actually drilled and tapped uh, into them but uh, I want to put on the butyl tape around there to seal it and so I want to just have that bolt be able to slide down it so I'm not going to do that but it's kind of nice to know that there's kind of a backing plate that's sandwiched in between all of that fiberglass and should set, certainly help it uh, be stronger so I'm gonna suck all this stuff up here we go oh I forgot ha glad I forgot oh, I'm glad I remembered I need to grab that level tool so it's just a chip I'm not sure if this will work but I'm gonna use this guy try to see if I can keep it from chipping quite so bad here on the top that worked beautifully. I don't know if you can see that in here. We'll see if I can show it to you. But the uh, the holes just really got beveled out nice without chipping and cracking. I should have probably taken that chamfer bit and just taken chewed out just a little of that gel coat because it split off. Cracked it. Well, there's a close up of the holes, and you can kind of see just what I had to do with the chipping. But I think it's smooth enough now and should certainly prevent uh, further chipping and or leaking. I try to make them just a little bit bigger than the uh, drill bit is, but that shouldn't be a problem because uh, then it'll give it a little bit of extra spot for that butyl tape to, to stick in. So now I'm going to drill. Not sure if I'm through on all of these or not, but I really don't want to go through that headliner. So I'm going to check it from the bottom side and see what I got. Well, I got through all of them, except for these last two over here, just not quite through. So I'm going to go on those ones. Actually, the headliner is a little farther away. so. Got to drill a little bit farther down in there. Okay, that should be it. And now I'm going to vacuum that guy up. Look at all these shavings, though. You know that? Again, I don't mind having a aluminum plate buried in there. I really don't want to have any of that uh, aluminum shavings though anywhere near the inside of that new winch. Don't want to get the gears and stuff messed up. So see how it looks. I don't know if you can see that. But that should be really good. See if the bolts fit in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh. Almost. It's a little stiff. I think it'll just screw right in there. Like a champ. Okay, I might need to take that one just to ream it out just a little bit, but there it is. They all look like they're in. Sweet. Sorry for that one. We have butyl tape. That looks, uh, it's just this sticky white, kind of like a, I don't know, it's got a sticky tack almost, but it's meant to be sealing. We wrapped it around all of the, all of the bolts on the top, put it through the base plate then wrap it a little around the, the bottom because there's a bit of a taper that I added to the top of that mounting um, surface. And so now Stacy's gonna hold the, uh, so we don't want this twisting at all. Okay, and I'm going to add a washer and a locking nut on the bottom. So I'm gonna try to get this first one here okay. and then I'll go around 
clockwise. We have got all five of them nice and tight. It's a warm day down in the cabin. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today compared to what's the temp when we've come out. Oh, yeah. The last couple nights we've been working on getting this ready, it was. Uh, Low 40s, upper 30s? Yeah. Yeah, we were worried about the epoxy setting because it, it wanted it above 40 degrees and it was right at 40. And then we need the two long ones on this side because they go through extra. You ready to put it on the back side? Yeah. go so we put beetle tape on the inside so on the top side this one got really squished around hopefully it'll just seat right in there line it up right yep should be seated so now we just gotta repeat the process of tightening it down Hold on to the top so I don't want that bolt to move. Yay! It's all done. They're all in there. See them all? I know a fire one. Sweet. Nice job, baby. <laughs> Pulling off the tape. Here we go. You want to install it? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna put the tape here. All right. I'm just gonna drop those together on there. Yep. There you go. And then. And then. Big drum. It is a big drum. This thing? Yep. yep. Okay. Does it matter how? Just kind of carefully, yep. Spin, slightly spin, keep twisting. It's not quite there yet. Okay. 